On the 50th anniversary of the Civil War's end, as Confederate monuments pop up nearly everywhere, President Woodrow Wilson watches the first film screened in the White House, revitalizing the Ku Klux Klan. Mr. Seeger presents Infamous History, The Birth of a Nation, 1915. D.W. Griffith's epic blockbuster offers a wildly distorted view of Reconstruction, depicting African Americans as faithful slaves and incompetent after emancipation. At the film's end, a blackface actor, unable to contain his urges, threatens the white heroine heroically saved by the Klan. Though disbanded, within a few months of the film's release, the Klan is resurrected at a ceremony atop Stone Mountain, Georgia. President Wilson, a Southern Democrat supportive of Jim Crow laws, initially approves of the film, but later tries to disassociate himself from its racist messages.